What I would say about visualization is that the way it works in the brain is if your brain has never seen or experienced something before, it would consider it as a threat. So when seeing or experiencing something for the first time, there would be some fear involved with that. And that would likely mean that your stress hormone levels would go up. That then changes the blood flow around the brain and makes you less likely to take risks because it wants to keep you safe. So if you have visualized something, whatever it is that you want, then to your brain, it's like it's experienced it before. So it makes that first real event easier. I advise people to either create actual images in a collage, like, you know, what we call a vision board or an action board, or to regularly visualize the outcome that they desire to start to really tell your brain that it's already come true so that when it starts to happen, you notice all the things about what it sounds like, what it smells like, what it feels like, um, and then to give gratitude for the fact that it's come true. Because gratitude is like the opposite of fear. When you're in a state of gratitude, of love and trust and joy and excitement, you're releasing the bonding hormone oxytocin, which which makes you feel warm and open and it lowers your guard and allows you to take healthy risks.